Hey there, in this lesson we are going to talk about translucency and um, masked materials. Um, so if you haven't watched this lesson, the emissive color lesson, you will need to click on the link around here. So let's go do that. Um, I've already created a, an M underline glass underline test. Of course, we're not going to create a glass in this lesson. That would be uh, for our future lessons where we are going to um, explain refle refraction in a bit. So, when you first create a material, it looks like this. But when you go ahead and ch uh, change a blend mode to translucent, it will be translucent. It's still black though. We need to um, hold one on the keyboard and left click and so how the opacity or translucency works is that it um, takes a value between zero and one, I mean, whatever value. And uh, zero means that the opacity is zero, it has nothing to be shown. One means that it is 100% visible. 0.5 means it is 50% visible. 0.8 means that it's 80% visible. One is a hundred, so it works just like that. So it's we've learned that it's based on value. So what if we had a mask, a texture to use? So I've got a texture around here. Yeah, I've got a noise where I can use. Um, so it's just a simple noise texture with some values, some zeros, ones. Uh, probably 0 0.5, 0 0.3, a lot of different values, just a noise, right? So what if instead of 0 0.6, we use this one? We get a completely different result. There are zeros in the, uh, in the picture, there are ones, there are grays, some, somewhere between zero and one. So it just works like that. You can use textures, you can use alpha masks to create shapes with the opacity of your texture. But here's the difference between translucency and opacity mask. So if you change a blend mode to masked, then you'll, the result will be definitely different. So look at that. You have no longer the 0.5 values. You don't have Point three values, you only have either zero or one. So that's, that's the whole point in the opacity mask. It is used to be masked in the material. So if you're using a mask texture to mask something out, like a decal, like a footprint, without any translucency in it, you can use the opacity mask. And it's really perf uh, performant compared to opacity. Opacity could be really, really heavy shader-wise. So if you don't really need to use translucency, so if you don't want to create something like a glass, something that would you would need it to, um, to render that's everything that's behind it to... So it's like you have this um, sphere in front of you, okay? In the mask, it is only one or zero. So in this pixel here, in this pixel, it is only rendering this sphere. It is, uh, in this pixel, it is only rendering the floor. It doesn't render a sphere anymore because it doesn't need to. But in the opacity, let's switch back to translucent. In the translucent, it has to both render the sphere and the floor. So it has to render two times. It means that the performance is definitely more uh, bad in the opacity or translucent materials. That's the difference between these two. So we've learned that translucent material is cool, it looks great, but it has a cost. So how can you probably lower that cost? That's something else that we have to talk about in this lesson. So first of all, the shading model is really important. This is the default thing, but you could go ahead and use Unlit. Unlit's like the most cheap material shader method that you could ever see in Unreal Engine. So if 
ever you have any problems with the performance shader wise you can just go ahead and first try this one out it will probably work for you but there's definitely a cost for it too it's not it's not late so it's not getting late by the lights in the scene it's on late all the time um, if you wanted to cast shadows to receive lights from different sources in the scene, you would go ahead and set this to default lit, but all it makes it really cheap, really, really cheap. But in most cases in the translucent materials, you don't really need it to cast shadows or, I mean, it wouldn't be a shadow anymore. It's a volumetric shadow. But anyway, if you're having a glass in a game, you don't really need it to be looking really really realistic or if you want to you want it to look really realistic you could do that inside the shader not based on this one so only it is a way to go other than, other than that uh lighting mode is really important we don't have that in only it so if you have to use the default lead <sighs> Volumetric non-directional is the cheapest one. Surface forward shading is the uh, most expensive one. And these are in between. So it just goes heavier respectively. This is something to keep in mind. So if you use surface forward sh shading, you will have access to pretty much every node that exists in here. But in the volumetric non-directional, you have pretty much just some base color op uh, opacity missing color you don't even uh have access to a normal which is pretty uh pretty much needed in the glass so glass would be definitely volumetric directional which is not which doesn't come cheap um and that's pretty much it um I see you in the next lesson. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and I wish you a great day. Bye.